We have now entered a new era of satellite meteorology. Europe's latest weather satellite, the Meteosat third generation imager, has just delivered its first image. But before we reveal it, what does this satellite do exactly? And what does this mean for weather forecasting? Weather, especially extreme weather, affects everything we do. Over the past 40 years, events like floods, heat waves, and storms have caused close to 145,000 fatalities across Europe and economic losses of around 500 million euros. Monitoring weather is crucial, not only in our day-to-day -day lives, but also to determine future climate changes. In 1977, the first European weather satellite Meteosat took its place in orbit. 11 satellites have since followed. From their vantage point 36,000 kilometers above the equator, they've been watching Earth non-stop for over four decades. These missions result from the long-standing cooperation between ESA and UMITSAT. In December 2022, the latest Meteosat satellite lifted off, marking the next generation of weather forecasting. The Meteosat third generation imager, the first of six satellites, will monitor the weather from space like never before. With its groundbreaking instruments, the satellite will deliver Earth observations of unprecedented range, resolution, and frequency. This will enable weather forecasts to monitor the evolution of rapidly developing severe weather more accurately. The satellite's flexible combined imager can scan the entire Earth disk in 10 minutes and deliver images over Europe in just 2.5 minutes. So, are you ready for the big reveal? This is the first image from the Meteosat third generation imager, showing Europe, Africa, and the Atlantic in remarkable detail. Much of Northern and Western Europe as well as Scandinavia, can be seen blanketed in clouds, with relatively clear skies over Italy and the Western Balkans. Details such as snow cover on the Alps, sediment in the water along the coast of Italy, and cloud vortices over the Canary Islands are visible. Crucially, for Nordic countries, the image also shows a greater level of detail of cloud structures at high latitudes. The Meteosat third generation imager is currently undergoing a commissioning phase where its instruments are switched on and the data they collect are calibrated. By the end of the year, the data will be distributed to meteorological services in Europe and beyond and will soon be available on a screen, TV or weather app near you.